by popular demand, I am going to go one through one more um, optimization problem or maximum problem using polynomials. Um, and this is once again using uh, and finding the volume of a box, um, an open end, open um, open top box, um, and how to solve that. So without further ado, we're going to do this problem. Um, and if you want to try this before we go, I go through the answers. You got to just copy it down, pause this video right now, try it out, and then I'll go through the answers, and you can kind of see how you did. But um, we can use your calculator in this, um, but there are certain aspects where we won't. So. Um, as the diagram indicates, the manufacturer, and then where's the diagram? Here's a diagram that we're going to be using. We have this, and this, and this, and right here. As the, volume, or as the diagram indicates, we are cutting out squares from the corners of X. And these are the little squares that we're cutting out, all right, all right here. All these little corners we are cutting out, um, and they all equal X, okay? Um, from the corners, I are 10, all right, so we'll say this is 10 centimeters by right there, we'll say this right here is going to be 16 centimeters. Okay, so 16 centimeters. Um, a piece of sheet metal that can fold in folds the metal to make an open top box. All right, our goal we want to find out is to find an equation for the volume of the box in terms of x. So it's going to be v of x. Okay, so to do this, all right, we're going to first start and think about, okay, we have to find the volume of a box. The volume of a box is length times width times height. Now, if we think about this, um, we have our box, and if we lay this out, these little squares that we're cutting out that are x are actually going to be the folds. Okay, this is going to be folding up. All right, so this is going to be folding up. All right, right there, and all these different sides are going to be folding up to make this box. So, an easy thing to figure out is our height of our box. Here is the height of our box right there. That is going to be our h. So our h value is going to be x. Now, the remaining part of it is going to be this. Now we can say this length right here is going to be l. All right, we'll say this length right here is going to be w, which is our width. Well, l is going to be, all right, the same size, because these two sides are congruent, um, is going to be, well, 16, because the whole length is 16, all right, minus this segment and this segment. All right, so it'll be 16 minus 2x. So the length is going to equal 16 minus 2x. All right, there. And then we have another point, which is going to be our width. Well, our width is going to be um, 10 minus, once again, we cut out this side and this side. So that'll be 10 minus 2x as well. And that actually is our volume of our box. We can factor out a 2 if we want each one of these. So if you want to simplify it, we could rewrite it as um, 4x times uh, 8x minus, um, we got 5. All right, whoops. minus x times 5 minus x. I'll make it right like that. But either case, this would be our solution. All right, so that is our volume equation. Now, the next thing is, what is our domain? Well, the domain, we have to really know what is the input with the output, okay? x right here is the height, all right, of the box. All right, our y value is equal to uh, the volume, okay? So when we graph this, if we would graph this using a little polynomial action here, um, we can see right there where we're going to have our zeros. We have a zero here, and we have a zero at, going to be at five, and we have another one at eight, there and there. Keep increasing, decreasing, and it's going to go like this. Now, looking at this right here, we notice that our volume, okay, is not going to be recorded here because our volume is negative. Volume can be negative, so we're not going to include that. At each one of these zeros, we're going to have an open circle, all right, because technically the volume can't equal zero. This part right here is going to be positive, so we're probably going to include this. So we know that x can be between 0 and 5. Um, the volume can't be negative here, and you can't have a volume that goes on forever, so we're going to include that. So right here, my friends, 0 to 5 is our domain. Okay, So our domain, what can we plug into this function? Because remember, domain is what we can plug in. Our domain is going to equal this right there. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to figure out is... Find the maximum volume. Find the maximum volume. Well, this is where we're going to take out your calculator. All right, so you take out your calculator, and I have mine right here. And we're going to go over here, and I'm going to eliminate that. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to have 16 minus 2x, and I have 10 minus 2x, and x that it's equivalent, not written exactly correct. But um, we're going to graph this, find our window. I'm going to go from 0 to 5, 0 to 5. 
Um, I don't know how high this is going to go. Um, y min is going to be zero. Um, I just kind of grabbed it a little bit, a little bit too high. We'll go like a hundred. We'll see how that goes. We'll go by tens, and we'll graph this. All right. Oops, a little too low. And it's coming down right there. So we want to change this up again. We know our max is going to be between 0 and 5, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's just go with, uh, I don't know, 400. I think that might work out. And yes, it does. Okay, cool. So there is our max. So now we're going to go to second calculate. Second calculate. Go to maximum. Go to 4. Press enter. And we're going to the left side of this, where this maximum will be. Um, it appears it's going to be right around 2. All right. And just by observing this graph, we go on this side right there, press enter, and we get our answer right here, which is going to be, well, I guess I was right. It was at, right at 2. Okay? By looking at this, we can see our max is going to be right at 2. So, what is the maximum volume? Oops, maximum volume. Look at my graph right here. Now I have it. Okay? When our height equals 2, our volume, which is our y value, is going to equal 144 centimeters cubed. And that is our volume. That's what we want to write down. And that's what we got. Okay. All right. So we got that. Okay. And finally, what is the height of the box if the volume must equal 78 cubic centimeters? Okay. Well, we're going to go to our calculator again. And what we're going to be looking for is where does this volume equal 78? So we're looking for the x value. So we're finding the x. That's what we're looking for because that's the height. And if you recall, uh, up here. So... We're going to go to our calculator, and I'm going to go to my y equals. I'm going to go to y2 because I want to figure out when this equals 78. So, honestly, I'm going to find my volume of x when that equals 78. So, to set that up, we do that right here. I'm going to graph this now. And if you notice, right here, we have actually two different values that we can use. We have a value here that will equal that and a value there. So actually we're looking for, we'll have two different solutions that will um, make this equation equal. So to solve this, I'm going to go to the second calculate and we're going to go to find the intersection. Okay, and I'm going to go to this side. That's the first curve, second curve. Probably should have just another one. Uh, right there. Are there yet? No, just about there. Okay, press enter. Second curve, press enter, that's a line, guessing, and we get this. So, what is the height going to be? Well, x is going to equal, it appears to be, in the first one, okay, let me write that down, and you can cut this down, it's going to equal 0.599 centimeters. Okay, that's the height. Now we got to find the second time, so we have to go to second calculate, we'll go to intersection again, 5, and now I'm going to go over here, and if you press up, the up arrow, Actually, this might be a little bit faster instead of going around this fun thing. Closest way to get to one point to the next point is straight line. So I'm using the straight line. We got all right. Press enter. We get close to that one. Enter again. Enter, and we get our other intersection, which is right there, and that appears to be another value of move this down. Um, X equaling three point. 777 seven centimeters, and that would be our other value. All right, so hopefully this helps you out. We identified four different things from this equation. One key thing is how to find this, uh, how to actually find the equation, or how to define this equation of the volume. Another one was how to find the domain, because that's important so we know what we can plug in. All right, how to find the maximum volume using our calculator, and also how to find the height given a volume. So hope this helps out. Good luck, and God bless.